do we got? Skin peeled away, strips of muscle torn from bone, and her head is missing. Actual cause of death is unknown. Not Jamaican ID. Well, she was wearing this badge. Now, apparently, she was visiting the museum director to discuss delays regarding the grand opening. Media? Expect a maelstrom any minute. Someone knows. First Van Horn, and now... Keep your voice down. Agent Thomas? Mr. Thomas. I found this on the body. Mr. Thomas, take a look around. Dolan and I are heading back to the agency. Remember our discussion. I'm trying to protect you. Get this to Agent Rosa, SCU ASAP. I'll have it delivered right away. It should be splattered all over the place. Whoa. Looks like the perp used the wheelbarrow to transport the body. A bloody tire trail leads to the door. Certainly suggests the actual crime scene, and possibly the head, are somewhere in the museum. Unfortunately, we're under strict orders not to enter the museum. Doesn't mean dick to me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it would. Follow me. Here, let me give you a lift. The museum is beefed up to the Avoid the guards if possible. If you need to take them down, don't use a weapon. I'll take that under advisement. I just received that little present you sent me. It's a bit disturbing to think that SKX is still alive. Last time I saw that psycho, half his face lined the inside of a trunk. Well, the body was never recovered, so I guess the chance he survived was always there. Mr. Thomas, the coroner just arrived. He's examining the body now. I'll keep you posted if anything turns up. Okay, this is what we know so far. The victim is Mayor Rachel Mars, age 55, found dead inside the City Museum of Natural History. Body has severe lacerations about the back, chest, and arms, resulting in excessive hemorrhaging. 
There's also an extensive tearing of muscle and ligament within the same region. Head decapitated just above the collarbone. Whereabouts is still unknown. All right. And now for the note you sent me. Found on the victim's body was a piece of paper with strangely drawn eyes on one side. And on the other, the acronym of a serial killer known as Serial Killer X. Both written with a black felt tip pen. Did you find any fingerprints on the paper? Yes. I ran it through IAFIS, and guess whose name popped up? Leland Van Horn. I don't need to tell you this, but let's make it official. Leland Van Horn, a.k.a. Serial Killer X, or just SKX, was allegedly responsible for nine serial murders in the greater metro area. He's the nephew to Malcolm Van Horn, and was thought to be dead, killed by a gunshot to the face. His body was never recovered. Do you think Van Horn nursed his nephew back to health? I'd say it's the most likely scenario. I have a theory. SKX gets one in the grill. His own flesh and blood, Malcolm Van Horn, nurses him back to health. SKX turns on his uncle and kills him. For perhaps the same reason he murders Rachel Mars. Keep searching the museum. We need more information. Receiving image. Good work. That's an odd-shaped saw. Looks medieval in origin. Get a shot of the handle, will you? Got it. Excellent. Look at that. A fingerprint. Give me a moment. Okay, over 50% of the fingerprint found on the handle is compromised by smudging. However, after running the print through IAFIS, I'm able to get a positive match on our suspect, SKX. I'd say SKX is very much alive and is now the prime suspect in the murder of Rachel Mars. What about the saw? You said it looked medieval. Yeah, I hear the museum will feature one of the largest medieval exhibits in the country. Ethan, find the exhibit that tool came from. SKX was certainly there at one point. Okay, hold on a sec. Camera 1501 was installed a week ago and just completed its 48-hour stress test. Ethan, if you think SKX may be on camera, find the surveillance room and let's take a look.
Okay, I'm in the surveillance room. Find the backup drive, and let's see if our favorite madman has made a cameo. Wow, disturbing, but not overly revealing. Keep looking for the exhibit. Rosa, I found a museum directory. Good. Tell me the area of the museum you want to find, and I'll update your GPS. Got it. Let me check the blueprints. Okay, Ethan, your GPS has been updated.
determine one way or another. And while you're at it, collect a sample of those weird-looking metal pieces. Receiving sample data from your field kit now. Let's see. Blood type is AB negative, which is the same as Rachel Mars. Less than 1% of adults have this type, so I would say we have a match. All right, now let's take a look at those metal pieces. Evidence sample consists of thin metal strips and small bolt-shaped pins. Alloy properties similar to Damascus steel, but does not match known foundry formulas. 
Blood, human tissue, and bone fragments are present on all surfaces of sample. Any evidence the metal pieces came from Rachel Mars' body? Yes. The coroner has found extensive scar tissue throughout her body and bored holes in her bones, matching the dimensions of the metal pieces you discovered. I'd say Rachel Mars had a secret, and it may have gotten her killed. What? Some sort of fucked up masochistic lifestyle? Whatever it was, it looked painful. The pathology report will tell us if she was abusing painkillers. Ethan, the cops are on their way. We finally managed to get a warrant to search the rest of the museum. Get to the main lobby if you can.
You're looking more beat up every time I see you. I think you overstayed my welcome. I found something when investigating Van Horn's body. Metal pieces? No, 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 something better. I found traces of fecal matter on his shoes. Let me finish. It belongs to an endangered deer species found only in the Black Lake region. You mean the wildlife preserve up north? Yeah, I figure the best way to track SKX is to start with Van Horn and work our way back. Seems like a long shot, if you ask me. Two-hour flight tops. I'll make the arrangements for a plane to take you there. <sighs> All right. I could use some sleep. Good. Dorland here has volunteered to take you. 